Let's do problems E12 and 13 that require a little bit more thought and you have to calculate the learning rate yourself based on this idea of, of doubling. So the setup is that you are a, a, an assessment center and you train people and you measure how much uh, time it takes them to do things. So we don't, everything is based off of this T1 and we don't we don't necessarily know what T1 is. In this case, I don't know what T1 is. And, and I don't know the learning rate. And so I have to calculate the learning rate and T1. In the setup, I have two uh, students. One is called Tori, the other is Julie. So I have to calculate a learning rate. So the learning rate is based on this idea of doubling. And so I need the time for the nth unit and the time for the I'll call it the later unit. So it's going to be if this is if this is a one time for the first unit then this ought to be the time for the second. If it's the third and the sixth, those will will work. So let me give an example. In Julie's case, it took <clears throat> five hours for the fourth unit and four hours for the eighth unit. So uh, four and eight are, are doubles of one another. So this, this will work. And so the learning rate for Julie is simply four divided by five. And so that's a 80% learning rate. So she's uh, doing all right. And so we can say this is the learning rate. I've calculated it down, down there. That's the learning rate. <clears throat> and what we can do is, in this problem, you have to, you have to be able to do the tenth unit in a certain amount of time. I think it's one hour. And so I'm going to go down to, to ten, and I'm going to calculate the time for the tenth unit. And I'm going to point, let's see, there's the time that I need. So you notice that I don't have T1 yet. So I'm going to figure out what T1 is by using goal C. But first I have to create this table. So I'm going to put these columns into that and come up with, with numbers. So what I need is some number here, like 12, that's going to give me uh, 5 for the fourth unit. So in the, in the setup for the problem in E12, it says she took five hours uh, to complete the fourth unit. So I'm going to use goal seek to set this to five by changing T1. Everything's based on T1 in this learning rate. So this is the fourth unit, and this is the eighth unit. So hopefully if I do this right, uh, this time I'll set to 5, so I can't just set it to 5, I have to use uh, goal C. So I'm going to set that value to 5 by changing this first uh, time. And then that'll give me what this T1 is, and now everything falls out. And yay, verily, the eighth unit took 4 hours. So the question is, is she going to make, uh, is, is this... I think it has to be less than or equal to, to one hour. Well, uh, no, it's not. So that's uh, Julie. That's Tori. Julie has a, a different learning rate. She took four hours on the nth unit and three hours on the sixth unit. So this is the third unit for her, the third, and this is the uh, sixth. So those are doubles, so that's okay. So she has a 75% learning rate. Uh, but I need to do goal seek again to say, okay, the third unit, this needs to be a 4. It's 4.4. So I need to change this again. So I'll do a, a what-if analysis. Now, 
I think just to make this clearer, I'm going to copy these and I'll paste this and I'll move this over. And this is the first person and she, uh, I think she had a, is it five and four? So this is the first person. And the second person, she had, um, four and three so she's learning a little bit faster and I'll do this goal seek I need to set that to four fourth unit needs to be four hours or I could say the sixth unit needs to be three and I'll do the sixth needs to be three so goal seek and I'll set that to three by changing my start time what did I do wrong to value Oh, when I did copy, it didn't do the uh, data table. Well, I'll do the data table over again. This is a data table. I'm going to put them into that. Now it's a table. Now I can do uh, goal seek. I'm going to set that sixth value to three hours by changing my start time. And yay, barely, the third took four, the sixth took three, and is she going to make the tenth in less than an hour? No. So neither one of these are, are going to uh, complete their training on time, or they don't anticipate it. So this is Julie, that was the fourth, and this is the eighth. So that's problem E7. In problem E or sorry, E12. In problem E13, just copy this over. In problem E13, the setup is that you're given that the learning rate is 80%. So I think I'll just uh, hide this. We're not going to we're not going to need it uh, for this problem. So I'll just hide that. You're given that the learning rate is 80%, and the setup in this particular problem is that the sixth unit needs to be done in less than uh, 20 minutes. So this needs to be less than 20 minutes. And uh, so you could just put 80% in here if you want to, if that, if that bothers you, because we're not, we're not using uh, these right now. The question is, they want to make a decision after the third unit. So what time does this need to be so that this is less than 20 minutes? That's the setup. And so what I want to do is given this 80% and this needs to be uh, 20, 20, 20 minutes or less, what does this T1 have to be so that that is 20? Well, that's my goal seek again. I want to set that cell to 20 minutes by changing that cell there. And so with this, uh, if, you, if you take 35 minutes on the first one, at an 80% learning rate, you should be at 20 minutes by the sixth one, and at 25 minutes by the third one. And that's problem E13.